Hello dear editors, in this video I will show you how you can edit like Vox. A cross between a giant square box and a federal penitentiary. Hello dear editors, why is this decision such a big deal? We're going to be using After Effects, so make sure to watch till the end. So the first effect is the Vox highlighter effect. So find your brush tool and then just make two pinpoints over the text that you want to highlight. I'm now going to be just be turning off the fill because we're only going to play around with the stroke. So I'm just going to find the dark orange stroke color, which I think looks really cool. And once you're happy with your color, you can start playing with the value of the stroke. I'm turning it up to about 160, so it fits our text perfectly. And to make sure that we can see the text, we need to change the blending mode. And the best way I think is just to go for the multiply because this looks the best uh, with my background. So once you put on multiply, you then want to start with the animation. And to do that, I'm adding a simple trim pads as you guys can see right here. And so to get the animation, you just need to play around with one little thing and that is the end. So create a keyframe on the end with the value of zero first. I'm placing it a bit forward where I want it to start. And then I'm going to the end where I'm going to put the value on 100 and this will then be our end. So as you guys can see, a simple animation. But to spice it up, I wanna go into the speed graph. And then I'm just playing around with this until we get a path that looks like this. Now I'm adding a turbulent displace. This is very simple. Uh, I just want to do this because we can get this uh, sort of authentic brush look on our edges. So then just go for the amount to 60 and put the size on three. And so to get the actual movement, we need to do some keyframing on the uh, offset. You just want to go to the start and then go to the end and drag the values upwards. Um, this really depends on how much, you know, movement you want, but I'm just turning it a bit up so we have like a slight movement at least. You know, I'm really happy with that, so I'm just gonna let that be. Well, moving on, I wanna add some depth and the easiest way to do that in After Effects is to add a simple camera layer. So I'm selecting the 35 millimeter lens because that is what I think looks, looks the best. And we're not going to play around with, you know, all of the hard settings. We're just going to be playing around with the X values and the zoom. So just find the X values and then drag it down. I'm putting it down to about uh, minus uh, uh, 56, about, you know, minus 44. And then I'm just using the simple camera options uh, with the zoom and then just zooming it in. And then I'm just manually dragging it with my, um, with my cursor uh, just to make sure that it fits perfectly. So it's, we're only going to be playing around with the positioning keyframe. We're going to be having three uh, different keyframes. So we get like an authentic swish and like a follow along of the camera uh, once I am saying newspaper basically. Uh, so what you can also do here is that you can highlight all of your keyframes and then put it on easy ease in. Uh, but that is really just up to you. I just wanted to show you the basics of this effect and how you can use the camera. And by the way, if you haven't joined Jonas Editing Club, then you need to do so ASAP. Jonas Editing Club is a community where you guys will receive video editing courses and also have the opportunity to ask me any questions. The Vox text animation, you guys saw this in the intro. It's very simple to do actually. Just create a 1920 by 1080 composition in After Effects and then just type out the desired text that you want to animate. Then you want to find your way over to the drop down and then press on the animate. I'm going to be selecting position and then going down to the range selector and then finding the advanced settings we're going to be you know playing around with the words so then press on the based on and change that to words and then we want the animation to sort of come up from the bottom so change the shape to ramp up and now we want to select our starting position so just drag the position down to your desired starting point as you guys can see, I'm just dragging it down. Then change the easy high to 30 and then the easy low to 70. This is going to be sort of our desired pace of our animation. So we just want it to be nice. Then create a keyframe on the offset and then put it on 100. And then the first keyframe on minus 100. 
What I'm doing now is I'm just speeding up the process of me just moving the keyframes and just making sure that it fits perfectly. But this is just really a process that you need to do yourself. It's pretty straightforward as you guys can see. And once you're happy with that, create a simple shape layer with the yellow color and then just drag it over top of your uh, words. And then you wanna put the shape layer beneath of your text layer. But as you guys can see, it is sort of not coming you know, inside of the box. We want it to sort of rise from the inside of the box. And to do that, we're going to be using a very simple effect called the set mat. So then just find your way over to the effects and presets and search for set mat, and then add that on your text layer. Select the shape layer one, so it sort of comes up just like this. Isn't that awesome? All right, so to finish this effect off, this is the most important step. Create an adjustment layer, but first you need to pre-compose. And once you have pre-composed all of your layers, create an adjustment layer. And then on top of that adjustment layer, drag the posterize time effect. Put the frame rate on 12 or 16, but I like 12 a lot. And as you guys can see, this gives a very vintage look on the effect. Please subscribe and make sure to join my Discord. Peace.